Hello everyone, Dr. Vicki here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center. It is time for Tower Scopes again. We're going to be doing the Tower Scopes for the sign of Taurus. That's Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, Taurus Rising for the month of May 2024. And uh, before we get started with that, I just want to welcome all my new subscribers uh, and uh, all my tried and true subscribers who have been with me for years I really appreciate uh, your support, and I am honored to both uh, offer this to you each month. Uh, I'm very grateful. Um, so before um, we do the reading, we're going to be doing a card reading using the Wildwood deck. I've actually selected a, um, a Crystal Ally card. It's from this uh, book here, the Crystal Ally cards. It is a, um, a, an Oracle deck. Um, looks like this. This is the latest edition. It's called the, uh, I was going to say the millennial edition, but it's not the evolution edition. Uh, she has two editions out. This is her latest. Her first edition is also good, but there's more crystals in this one. So, uh, but they both, uh, I've had, I've, ha I've been working with these cards for years and she's an exceptional, uh, crystal person. <laughs> she's uh she she knows her physics which i think is so cool uh i believe she might have even been a physicist at some point um i guess once a physicist always a physicist though right all right so i did pick a card and an an incident and, and interestingly enough the card i picked is amber amber uh which is uh ancient wisdom ancient wisdom and uh it is an earth element card uh, so far, uh, this is the third reading I've done, and each time the element of the sign, I actually picked that element card. So uh, very interesting. So let me read what she says about amber. Of course, amber is petrified uh, tree, uh, tree sap, pine sap, I believe, pine resin. And uh, uh, pine trees are some of the oldest trees, uh, if not the oldest trees, um, that we have, um, they're they're often considered as record keepers. Um, I have a couple of very very tall pines in my, in and around my yard, um, and they kind of they 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 have the energy of sentinels. You know, they really feel like sentinel energy to me. But let's see what she says about amber. Let me just find the. Here we go. Ancient wisdom. Um, the chakras activated uh, with amber are the heart, uh, the earth heart, and muldahara, muldahara, the root chakra. The earth star chakra is uh, about 18 inches below our feet. Uh, if you want to know where that chakra happens to be, it's also called the earth star, the earth star. Your affirmation is, my past informs me, but does not define me. Um, she says here, uh, and I'll hold the card up because it's a really pretty card, actually. Uh, she says, Amber is solidified sunlight. Ancient pine trees took in the light of the sun, using it as energy for their growth over hundreds of years. All light energy is capable of carrying information up to uh, an estimated three gigabytes of information per, per photonic particle. Uh, as a tree or plant or a human takes in sunlight, it is absorbing cosmic knowledge through the frequencies of that light. It stimulates our cell and DNA, promoting deep intuition and releasing genetic knowledge into the conscious mind. The trees that absorbed the sunlight 44 million years ago integrated that light-borne information into their beings. Over the lifespan, they excreted golden resin as a protection when their bark was injured or, or to seal themselves against the invasions by insects or other potential harm. Sometimes the resin encased insects or other small animals or plants in, and entombs them, preser preserving them perfectly for millions of years. Amber carries within it uh, the protected information and evidence of our most ancient origins. Amber has come to you today to encourage you to seek out pre-existing knowledge and experience that you can use in your current situation. Very little under the sun is truly new, new and the chances there are others 
who have already solved the problem or situation you are facing. By seeking out those with prior experience or information, you can significantly reduce the amount of time and energy you will need to expend to experience the shift you wish to make. Inspiration may come from our ancient beliefs, religious wisdom, or practices. It may come through some someone else's experiences chronicled in the book in a book or a teaching or you may come or it may come from deep within your cellular or genetic memory in the process of seeking out information teachings or other evidence you're also being encouraged to purify and protect your energy amber is created when the tree excretes a resin in response to attack or irritation of its outer defenses if you have felt as though you are under attack in some way. The energy of amber can assist you in sealing your energy field so that you can clear it of interfering influences. So um, what was I going to say about that? I was going to say something else. Um, there was something on my mind, but it, if it's meant to come back, it'll come back. So that's what we got. We got Amber. Amber for protection and information. Oh, I know. I knew it would come back. Um, in the tarot, the uh, Hierophant card is the card of uh, Taurus. And it's also uh, the place on the Tree of Life where uh, it we are required to listen to that small, still voice within. And uh, it also connects the wisdom sephirth with the with the mercy sephirth, and it's in uh, Hesed, the sephirth of mercy, which um, is connected to Jupiter. Now Jupiter is in Taurus, and uh, is in Taurus for most of the month, but at the end of the month it does move into Gemini. So our year of Taurus, uh, Gem, um, um, <laughs> our year of Jupiter and Taurus is is coming to an end and I've loved my Jupiter and Taurus. <laughs> of course I have Venus and Taurus. That's probably why it's been it's been Betty Betty good to me. Um but we do have um Jupiter for the most part still in Taurus, uh making a conjunction to um Uranus is making a conjunction, I think, to the sun or Venus. I can't remember which one it is. At, like in the last degree of Taurus, I'll have to go look, let you know. Venus, your ruling planet. So if it is Venus, I really should let you know, shouldn't I? All right. Um, but I think it's going to be a good month for Taurus. It's always, you know, May, of course, I have Venus and Taurus. <laughs> May is my favorite month. It's the month I got married in. Unfortunately, it's also the month that my father passed. Um, but yeah, it's a good month. It's a good month. I love Taurus. It's when we really realize we're out of winter here in the Northeast. Okay, so just shuffling up. I, so as I said, I'm going to use the Wildwood deck and we'll see what, what comes up for Taurus. Remember, this is for Taurus, sun, moon, or rising. It's good to kind of, I think, to look all, at all three of them. I know I have... Uh, tower scopes that I like to watch and uh, I'll always look at all three three signs to see because there's sometimes there's a common theme all right we start with the archer the archer in this deck this is the uh, chariot card she is focusing on here's a, a focused intention direction where she's where she's going she is she will follow this arrow that she uh, that she releases, um, and she has her her um, her hounds behind her. This is very much a sort of a Diana, an Artemis uh, energy here, and uh, of course Artemis was the uh, um, the goddess of the moon and the goddess of the hunt, and of course uh, the moon is exalted in Taurus. And this is actually a cancer vibration, this card. And so that's ruled by the moon. Uh, so there's definitely, um, you have a focus in a direction that you want to go into. Let's see what's challenging that. Um, now, this is instruction. Uh, and you can see this is, this is probably, <laughs> this is probably 
her when she was little, right? She's getting instructed. This is a 10 of, of arrows in this in this deck, which would, so, uh, would, would be the 10 of swords. But in this deck, it, it does mean something else. It does mean the need for instruction. Um, perhaps you do need some instruction. Perhaps there's something that you're aiming towards that the only reason that you can't quite make it or quite get to that aim is because you don't have the knowledge needed. Um, the, tr the challenge card can also be a sense that maybe, am I really ready? Can I really do it? So we'll see what comes up here. Okay, so we at the root, we have the three of stones in this deck. It's called creativity. But you can see that she is well rooted here. She is connected to the trees and to the earth. So this is about stability. This is about stability. So you have the needed stability. You have the needed skill. So you don't need necessarily instruction. It might be just a little bit of, of, of doubt. And it being the 10 of, 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 of um, arrows here, I think we can say that it's the end of the doubt. The doubt is done. The doubt is over. You've decided to move. This is in the past. Um, the Fool card, the Wanderer. This is one of my favorite Fool cards. I love this, this card. Because this person is taking a leap. I can't see where it's going, but it's taking a leap. So this means that you have recently in the past, in the, in the, um, in the, probably the more recent past has decided to take that leap of faith, to go in a whole new direction for yourself. Um, or to just go in a direction um, that you hadn't done before. So let's see what's in the sky. Oh, I like this, Taurus. Very nice card for you. This is the ace of, of, of uh, what do they call it? The ace of stones. The stones are the pentacles. This is actually a Taurus card. It's about potential for growth and new projects. So we have potential for growth and new projects in the air. So whatever you focus on, the energy is there to manifest it. Let's see what's in the immediate future. We have the queen of bows, the hair. This is the queen of, um, let's see, this is the queen of um, wands. Sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm, it's up there. <laughs> Mercury still retrograde as I do this, just so you know. Although I'm supposed to be smarter. Well, anyway, this is the queen of 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 wands. Um the hair is is uh very fast, very fertile. <laughs> it is a prey animal, so it does have to be fast and uh very aware of its environment. It's not afraid to protect itself. I don't know if you've ever seen two hairs like beating the crap of each other. They're like this. Hold on. Have you ever seen that? It's really, it's kind of cute, but I'm sure the heirs aren't happy about it. Um, so this is, this is somebody, this is, this is an energy of sustaining, um, sustaining the family, sustaining the hearth and the home, uh, protection, but great fertility. So we have a fertility symbol along with this ace of, of, of pentacles. I don't know, guys, it looks real good. Uh, for your project, whatever it is that you, because one of the reasons is because you're, you're stable. You've worked, you've worked, you've, you've created a foundation for this. If you didn't have the foundation, I don't think you could have been as successful. Um, how you're see, how it's seen from the outside. Um, you're seen as a team player, somebody who wants to bring others along with them. It's not just about you. Uh, I feel as though, and that's also indicative of this card here. These two cards indi indicate that there's an idea of helping the community. So whatever it is that you are, uh, you're focusing upon, people are taking notice and noticing that you're not just doing it for yourself, but you're doing it for the good of the community. We have the world card here in your domestic situation. That means something is manifesting in your domestic situation. Sometimes the world card can be an actual child, uh, giving birth to a child. So if you're not of childbearing age, which you may not be, there may be somebody in your family who's about to bring 
uh, a new life into this world. And I, I love that. Love that for you. Um, so if you're waiting for that grandchild or that great grandchild, you won't have to wait very long. I don't think, um, the, the, um, the world card is also a card about beginnings and endings. And so this can be, there can be a, a natural sort of ending of one period and the beginning of of a new period coming on in your domestic situation. Hopes and fears, uh, rebirth, the eight of um, the eight of cups. Um, yeah, I mean, rebirth is a beautiful thing. Birth is a beautiful thing. I almost feel like this is almost like, um, like a baptism. This feels like baptism to me. And the outcome card. The seven of arrows, insecurity, insecurity. Is she struck by any of these arrows? Let me see here. Insecurity, you're not feeling all that secure. There's something that's creating some angst for you. Let's see, now all the other cards are very positive. So it's interesting that that was the last card. We have the Knight of Stones. This is uh, somebody who um, protects the, their resources, protects their resources. Okay, let's see what else comes up. Exploitation, the six of, uh, what is it, stones? The six of stones, exploitation. It looks like you're a little insecure that somebody's going to take advantage. 20, the, the great awakener, the great bear. No one's going to take advantage of you. Not this bear on your on your doorstep, I don't think you have to worry about it. I think it's just, I think there's just some anxiety um, with that. It doesn't feel like, um, and and even if there is somebody trying to take advantage of a situation, they're going to be found out. There's no way that it's going to be, they're going to get away with it. Let's put it that way. Underneath it, we have the King of Stones. It might even be uh, beneficial if if it is a financial issue if there's a, a financial plan of some sort that you want to put into into action, finding somebody uh, who understands how to work with that energy might be a good idea, a good financial advisor or something like that. Uh, the Ace of Bows, so a new creative project. I like this. And the Five of Arrows. Um, more arrows getting getting thrown your way, but you notice that None of the arrows are hitting you this time, right? So what I would say is in this new project, if you have any anxiety at all, you need to get expert advice just to cross your T's and dot your I's and make sure that it's rock solid. You are rock solid. You are rock solid. Uh, but if you have some... some um, doubt about somebody that you're involved with in this project or uh, that if you don't feel like you're completely prepared, there's no shame in asking for help and asking the experts. But even the experts, right? Even the experts, you have to run it through your filters. You know what you want. Um, and you can get help to to deal with the stuff that maybe you're not as good with or that you don't understand as well. But the ultimate goal and the ultimate aim is yours. So it is your project and there's great potential for it. So uh, there's no problem if you ask for help. But again, you want to be at the head of things. You don't want to necessarily depend on, you can depend on their advice and what they're good at, but it's your idea and it's your plan. And so I would say best to go with your plan. <laughs> All right. Well, that was, wow, that was I have to believe in it. I, I know a lot of Tauruses and I have, as I said, my Venus is in Taurus. So, you know, there are things that make us happy. <laughs> and this reading is one of them. All right, guys. Well, have yourself a great month. If you are a May Taurus, happy birthday. Uh, but until next month, when we do the Tarascopes for the month, of June 2024. I this year is flying by, guys. Flying. Um, I'll see you then. Take care, and uh, you're gonna be. Oh, 
oh, okay, wait, before I let you go, if we remember back to the beginning of the reading, we had ancient wisdom, right? The ancient wisdom, the, uh, the amber. So if you're having some doubts, perhaps you need to access some of that ancient wisdom. Sit with some amber, see what happens. All right, guys, take care. Much love. Namaste.